Hi, Ken here with another tip. We're going to talk about accessing the customer event log. So to access the customer event log, we actually just go up here to, um, to options. And from options, we would select service. And we can see here in the drop down menu, we have the event log listing. By clicking on this, we automatically open the service window. It's not populated with any information because it's just basically giving us today's date range and as of today, we have yet to have any issues. So if I change this date, say, to 2017, and I go down and I click on Go, it'll populate with any information that's available for us to see. As we can see in this example, there's not a lot here. Um, what is here may be affected by some of these options that we have set on the side. We have a drop down for what type of information are we looking for? System based information. If I change to that and I click go again, it'll repopulate the menu with more options and more information. I can look at the severity settings. I always recommend that we focus on errors um, only because warnings and information become overwhelming. There's, there's just too much information there to really be uh, helpful. Um, and then lastly, we can sort by newest first, that's the default, or we can switch to oldest first. Uh, typically, Siemens populates all of their event logs from newest first. So this is the standard setting. To exit out of here, basically, you would just simply close this window and we're back at the desktop. For more information or tips like this, see the description.